Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you some more of what I've done to my um, T38. So what I've done here in Fusion is... Let me cut off some things here so we can have a better look at them. So I'm going to cut off the canopy. Okay. Now what I've done, as you can see, these two are now hollow, and I've gone ahead and cut the um, the opening for the retractable landing gear up here. What I also have done, let me turn the nose off here. I went ahead and put mounts inside of here because um, what I'm going to do is use a plywood plate that just slides in here between these two um, mounts. And then epoxy that in there so it doesn't um, come off of there. So I've done that. Also here in Fusion, I've gone ahead and um, made the hatches for the servo, for the aileron there. And this goes all the way through this opening right here for the wires. And I've gone ahead and beveled, uh, beveled the edges for the um, aileron and the flap here. And my last video, uh, um, not my last one, but the video that I showed about um, cutting out the flaps and ailerons, I showed you guys how to go ahead and make those bevels in there. Now, you don't have to make these bevels like I did here. You could actually make them round if you want them to be round. But you would do that the same way, just like making these two. You just, um, um, just make them round. Pretty, pretty simple to do. Also, what I've done here too is made the, um, let me turn this off, the left wing, so you can see a little better, and turn the flap off, and the left wing here. And you can see I made the little horns on here also. And I showed you how to do that in my video also. And I did that for the back here too, um, the cutout here for the servo, and also the horn back here. And again, I went ahead and beveled this here too for the um, elevator. Same thing back here for the rudder, the horn and the, um, the cutout, cutout opening for that as well. And I've gone ahead and made the, um, you can see the openings back here for the exhaust also. Go ahead and turn some of this stuff off so we can um, have a better look at it. Turn the rudder off, vertical stab, and the other part to the vertical stab. Okay, what I've done here, the EDF fits right in here. Let me turn some more of this off so we can have a better look inside more. Okay, the exhaust comes out through here. And it splits inside. So you see it splits inside here. And also, I made this hatch here so we can get to the um, EDF to put it down inside of here. Turn this hatch off here. Okay, now we see down inside of here. And the EDF unit just slides down in there.
that's what I've done to the model here so far. And um, pretty much everything is done as far as the modeling on this. Now I just have to go back and do the, the, um, the main landing gear back here, get those in, um, modeled in here, and then everything should be pretty much done. And, the, and then the last thing what I have to do is just put alignment pins in here so everything lines up and um, locks in. What I'm planning on doing is just using small carbon fiber um, little tubes that will just go in here, just four of them, two on each side to line up everything in here and um, to give this um, even more strength. And if I don't use um, carbon fiber, I'll just um, 3D print little pins that just goes, um, goes in here to give this more strength. And um, that's what I've done to NCAT with my T38. So now I'll just go ahead and take a look at the actual model and um, so you can see um, physically what I've done. So let's take a look. Now we're going to take a look at some of the um, things that I've done to the jet. Uh, let's see, like the elevator here, or excuse me, the um, horizontal stab and the elevator. What I've done here is went ahead and um, 3D printed this out. I showed you how I um, made the horns here in my um, last video on... Um, on uh, making horns and stuff, parts for the um, for the planes. But anyway, we have the horn here that I did, and we have the um, the hinge the hinge slots in here that I showed you guys also how to do, and those are in here also. And this is just um, uh, CA hinges in here um, for now. And we have the servo, and I don't don't have that um, hooked up there just yet, but we just have the servo arm. I just need to hook that up with KST servos as um, well. And um, so there's that. And I also, this is just PLA. I just printed this in PLA by um, Polymaker um, PLA. Then I went ahead and um, printed another one out in lightweight, Polymaker lightweight PLA. And um, here's one here right here. And this is a lot lighter than um, that one. And also, you can't see, but I put the um, formers inside of here too. Um, you can't see them, but they're in here. And this is, um, it's um, actually pretty, um, really strong. Also, did the same thing with the, the outer wing of it. Again, you see I made the horn here and the slots and everything. And this is just, again, this is just see a hinges in here. And we have some um, um, formers inside of here also. And uh, again, the servo inside there, servo hatch and everything. And the um, holes in here too. Also what I've done is, this is the section that's going to have the EDF unit in here. And I went ahead and um, 3D printed this one out too, just for test purposes. And the EDF is down in here already. And you can see that. And then we have the, the back of it also. And I have the hatch to get to it. So you can see the EDF unit down in here also. And it comes out, it just slides on comes up and it slides back down in here. And then there'll be two um, um, screws on each side to hold this down in here. And the exhaust duct is already cut in here also. So take a good look at it. You see that inside. and hatch. Another thing I did, I um, worked on the instrument panel 
as you can see. And in a previous video, I showed you guys how to um, model these instrument panels. And we have the, the rudder and the vertical stab, part of the vertical stab back here. And again, you can see the horn on there. I'm not sure you can see the slots in there, but um, the slots are all cut in there too. And this will go here just like that. And these pieces are all printed in PLA, and this is just all for testing. And once I get all the testing done, uh, make sure everything pit, uh, fits properly, then I'll go ahead and use um, the lightweight PLA. I just didn't want to use the lightweight PLA um, just for testing purposes because it costs a lot more money than the, um, the just regular PLA. Also, what I've done here is um, the, um, I've worked on the, the landing gear, getting the nose gear up here and let's see if we can get this working and um, so you can see that and that's that And what I've done here is put this down in here. There's a um, the gear is actually on the plate in here, a um, a um, plywood plate in here. You can see that inside of there, that plate. And there's two. Um, slots here that this plate slides into and this will be epoxied in here also and um, yeah so I got that working like that also and I haven't um, Got that. This is like I said. This is all test purposes until I get the um, everything, everything working right everywhere, every um, everything in place, and then, like I said, I'll go ahead and um, then 3D print that and lightweight the PLA. The last bit of designing that I have to do on this T38 is to do the um, the main landing gear on the bottom here. I went ahead and just drew some marks. I don't know if you can see them of um, where I'm going to put the landing gear um, back here. I have to um, just go into Fusion 360 and go ahead and draw these on there and cut this out and um, on both sides. But I went ahead and marked them where I um, am going to um, put those. And what I plan on doing for this one is not putting the gear doors on here for now. I'm just going to have this open so um, air can flow in here so um, if these intakes are too small more air will come through here and more air will come up through the um, the nose gear um, through here too to get more air to the um, to the EDF but um, yeah so not much more designing to do just this here and um, pretty much that's it as far as design and then I'll go ahead and print those and all the um, parts in um, PLA and then once I see those are working fine, then I'll just go ahead and um, print this, the whole thing in um, Polymaker's lightweight PLA and um, see about getting this thing to flying. Here's something I want to show you guys um, that I had been working on, but I stopped working on. It's a T38. Also, but it's um, 2.3 meters long, and as you can see, it's um, it's pretty big here. And this is just the back half of it, and this is foam covered in fiberglass. This is a Aero Tetris uh, T30. I believe it's a 2.8 um, uh, meter version of it. I got this. Um, I bought it back probably about two and a half years ago and started working on it back then. I don't know if I'm going to finish it or not,
but um, because I've got my 3D printed one um, that I'm working on and um, I really like my 3D printed one and this one here it's um, it's pretty light too and um, so but like I said I don't know if I'm going to finish it I probably will and um, as you see this is the the front of it so it's um, a lot bigger than my 3d printed one that I'm uh, working on and um, what I had planned on doing was putting a 130 millimeter fan inside of this one and um, we'll see um, if I finish it or not I um, I probably will after I finish my 3d printed one and uh, make sure it flies and everything and um, it's good to go so we'll see what happens in the future but anyway um, if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button also like and comment on uh, my videos and also I invite you to join my Facebook group by the same name um, cat built fly RC and um, join my patreon site on my patreon site you can get a lot of help there from me on designing your airplanes and everything and have a look um, there too um, i'll leave the links for the facebook group and the patreon site down in the comments so um, hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one subscribe for more